Namaste, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. Today we will see how to make a traditional South Indian side dish recipe. This is traditionally from Kerala known as Rasakalan. In Tamil Nadu also we make a similar dish where we call it as Morkut but with a slight difference in the ingredients used for grinding. Along with it, we are also going to make a simple onion tohel or tuvayal. Tohel is nothing but a kind of chutney which is mixed with rice and eaten. So, this combination of rice, onion tohel and rasakalan. Let's see how for making rasakalan, you can use either just one vegetable or a combination of two or three vegetables as per your choice. Uh, generally, these vegetables are used. Today, I am using this ash gourd and yellow pumpkin. You can make with just one of these or you can add raw banana, you can add yam, other vegetables like that. So first you cut the vegetables into pieces and then we will remove the seeds, remove the peel. Similarly for the ash gourd also. Now we will just chop it into cubes. First you just add about uh, 2 cups of water in a pan, we will add these chopped vegetable pieces into it. You can use drumsticks also if you have along with other vegetables. Add a pinch of turmeric powder, salt to taste and allow it to cook till the vegetables are done. For the masala, just heat a teaspoon of coconut oil and half a teaspoon of methi seeds to it and 3 dry red chillies. Take half a cup of fresh grated coconut in your blender jar and add these chillies and methi to it. Now we will grind it into a fine paste. While grinding I am adding a teaspoon of rice flour to this. And also here I have about 2 cups of uh, slightly sour curd. We can add a little bit of this curd to make it a paste. Our masala paste is blended and ready. Let's check the vegetable now to see if it has cooked. See, it has cooked well, when soft, and this pumpkin has also cooked well. See, the vegetable has cooked well. At this stage, you can add a small piece of jaggery to it. Next, we will add in the ground masala. Continue cooking it for just a couple of minutes more. Finally, add in the remaining beaten curd to it. Keep the curd thick, do not add water to it. Add the remaining beaten curd and just allow it to simmer for 1 or 2 minutes. See, the rasakalan is simmering well now. Finally, top it with some fresh curry leaves.
and now we can switch it off next we will do a simple tempering heat a teaspoon of coconut oil add some mustard seeds pour this on top of the rasakana Our traditional tasty rasakalan, a perfect side dish to go with uh, steaming hot rice is now ready. Here we will make a chutney. I have taken a tablespoon of oil in the pan and add about 2 tablespoons of urad dal. Fry the dal till it becomes a nice uh, reddish color. I have taken 5 dry red chillies, 1 fourth spoon of hing, and a small piece of tamarind. Now drain this out from the oil and keep it aside. Now, in the same kadai, I am taking about uh, four large onions I have peeled and just roughly sliced them and we will fry these onions in this oil see the onions are well fried they become translucent and soft now switch it off allow it to cool then cool grind the onions along with all these other masalas which we have earlier roasted and kept grind it into a thick and slightly coarse paste See our chutney is ground and ready. I have not added any water while grinding. So just grind it as it is till you get a thick chutney like this. Now we will just add the required salt for this and give it a good mix. Finally for the seasoning just take a teaspoon of oil, add some mustard seeds, some curry leaves and we will pour this on top of the chutney our onion chutney is done and ready today our home style lunch steaming hot rice and as usual the semi polished rice is what i have taken and this although i have been referring it as chutney the correct tamil name for this is togel vengaya togel or onion chutney okay and also this uh, rasa kalan so we have made a very tasty rasakalan using this uh, ash gourd and pumpkin. So serve it on top of the hot rice and a little bit of uh, sesame oil on it. And as a first course you can just mix this onion togel with the rice and use the rasakalan as a side dish. Or if you just make rasakaran and rice, you can mix it and eat. Or if you have made any other dry puriyal or sabji, say beans or carrot or anything also, it can be served. Thank you for watching the video. Do definitely try out our delicious home style South Indian vegetarian combos. And we will meet again with another interesting recipe video from Geeta's Kitchen. Thank you.